What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. And hopefully you're just coming from your very first guitar lesson where I showed you these chords uh, called E minor because it's a good easy chord to start with or a good beginner chord. Nothing's easy in the beginning, but a good starter chord. And then we uh, take took that same shape and just scooted it over and created this thing, fancier name than it is difficult to play, an A suspended two. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that, in this lesson, we're gonna take that A suspended two, we're gonna add another finger, and then it'll end up sounding like this. Which is called an A chord, also known as A major. So uh, what I said in the lesson before, there's two kind of chords that we're starting with here for these beginner chords. Some chords are called minor, and some chords are called major. Uh, minor have that sad, moody sound. And then the major chords have a more happy sound. Um, but minor chords and major chords are all typically always you know, mixing together into chord progressions of songs. So don't think chords, uh, songs have all minor chords or all major chords. They combine it all together so that way you, you've got all these different feelings and moods combined into songs. So anyway, we're gonna zoom in. I'm gonna show you that A major chord. And in music, major chords, a lot of times they just say the letter. If it's a minor chord, you actually say minor. So we're gonna zoom in and, and I'm gonna show you that A major chord. And then I'm gonna show you how well that E minor and A major chord sound together. It's almost like a Pink Floyd kind of sounding thing. And just also, all these chords, you know, there's really like five or six chords basically in the beginning, and they make up over a million songs, and a lot of them are the biggest hits you've ever heard are made up of these nice beginner song, you know, beginner chords. So um, hopefully you're having fun, and remember, you just got to be a little patient in the, this beginning phase. Um, and I said in the other video, you know, don't decide if it's too hard for you. Just give yourself like five minutes a day. Uh, for like two months, and you'll be surprised at, at how much fun you'll end up having. Okay, so let's learn that A chord. We'll zoom in and uh, break it down. Here we go. All right, so we were starting to make a little music. Hopefully our guitar's in tune, or at least close. And we're making music with the E minor and the A sus too. So what I want to do now, you know, the main point of that last lesson was to take the exact same shape and to be able to play two completely different sounds with it. So what I want to do, the A sus 2 is not as common as what we would refer to as the A chord or the A major chord. Now if you've heard me already, I said E minor and then now I'm saying the word major. So minor is like a sad version of a chord, a sad sounding version of a chord. You know relatively, and the major chord has a happy sound to it, which is really interesting how we can associate sound waves with emotion, but that's us as human beings while we listen to music. So what I'm gonna do is take that A sus two that we learned in the last video, and now I'm gonna take my ring finger and add it to the, th to the second fret of the B string. Eddie, eight, dynamite, good, by. So we need our ring finger, third fret on that. So now this is an A major chord, also known as just A. Major chords, you can just say the letter. Minor, you have to say minor. So we have an A major chord now. So second fret D, second fret G, second fret B. And to get them all to fit on the same fret, you know, there is going to be a bit of a of an angle here so my index can fit. We don't want it scooted back there. We, you know, we want it firmly on the second fret, but we kind of have to tuck them and shove them all in. Now you got sausage, sausage fingers like me, then you really got to jam them in there. And we're covering the second, second, second. And we strum down. 
The most official way to play it would be to not start the chord with this top string here, but start it with this A string. It's called an A chord, so we have the A string as the starting point. And just as before, to help get the muscle memory of the chord, we uh, spray it with a little free spray. And we take the hand off and keep the shape, move it around, and then put it back down and make the appropriate adjustments to play it again. Like that. And then the next thing we do is we combine it with the E minor. So the E minor is just two fingers, and we scoot it over and get our ring finger there, and now we have these two chords. And it's got, uh, they're gonna be really helpful for millions of songs, as I've said. But to just start with, if we just play the E minor to A major, it's a big part of like Pink Floyd's sound. Um, Breathe and Wish You Were Here and many more. But let's start with the E minor chord that we learned in the last video. Just nice slow strumming. And then switch to that A major. And don't worry, there's no pressure here to get it perfect. Just get it there. Take your time to get it there as you're learning. And then try and strum down on that. Go back to the E minor. So now I'll show you your first little uh, parlor trick for guitar. And on the E minor chord, if you take your pick and you strum it, remember I called this the bridge? If you strum it all the way back here, it's real tinny and bright. So you could go. Now the ASUS 2 that I showed you first happens mostly as a embellishment or a little color that's part of the A major chord. So listen to this. So you're not gonna typically see a progression that's like got the ASUS 2, then an a, a major in it. They're kind of part of the same thing, that's all. So. Keep practicing the E minor. And now a full A major. Hopefully you didn't find that too difficult. Um, that A chord is in everything, and so is the E minor. All this stuff is for everything. Um, so real quick, there's links to uh, your next video in this series, so check out that link. If you want to review the video before this, there's a link for that, and then there's also a link um, for how to tune your guitar, you know, this whole little beginner series here. So check those out. And thanks for the support. And uh, let's get to the next lesson. I hope to see you there.